floor down before the sun went down and I lost my lighting. So I'm going to get some chinking done. I've got some good weather coming up over the next few days, like three, four, five degrees Celsius. So above freezing, this clay and moss is now thawed out because of the stove being uh, running for so long. Uh, but that's gonna, that uh, warm weather is going to allow me to do some work outside too, get some of that chinking done, especially in the lower lift levels with clay and, uh, and ash, so sort of like mortar. experiment with a few different methods for chinking. This right here you saw me prepare it's clay which was uh, pure clay that I had uh, a different part of the property mixed with uh, ash from the wood stove so that's going to be oak and maple and some yellow birch um, coals basically like charcoal ash and some moss and grass mixed in here to hold it together. It's kind of like an adobe, like a, a cob. And I'm not sure what it's going to look like. I think it's definitely going to stick together. But there's different ways of mixing it, different uh, components you can mix into this. So you can have clay, salt, and lime, or basically ash. Uh, you can mix it with grass or not. Uh, the grass helps it hold helps hold it together but if you don't have that in there and you put something like salt and lime instead it basically turns to a hard concrete uh, so you don't need that that uh, grass to hold together and stop it from um, cracking but because of the time of year and uh, the fact that I can't probably get a lot of that clay anymore I'm going to try a few different methods to extend it uh, maybe do Something more like a traditional mortar on the outside chinking, or the outside gaps in the logs, and then on the inside do this clay, more traditional method. Or I'll do one wall one way and another wall another way. So a few different ways. This is sort of an experimental cabin. I'm not doing anything to jeopardize the cabin, but I'm certainly willing to try some different things that I can modify over time if I need to. So i got to kind of play around with this practice. Next thing I getting used to the consistency. I've got three or four good days of above freezing temperatures. Still not ideal. This would have been much better to do in the summer or fall. But here I am doing it now, so I gotta do what I best I can at this time of year and see what I can learn from this. I can always redo it, chip it out and redo sections of it in the summer. So I probably will end up having to do that in some spots. But won't know till I try it. The other thing is it would have been a lot easier to mix with my feet. Just put it on that tarp in there, which is what I had planned. Kind of stomp on it and squish it all around. More again of a traditional method. This is a lot harder. You wouldn't believe how strenuous this is to 
to mix by this method. That's a nice consistency though. This is more like stone masonry than log cabin building, which is actually good because I have so many stone projects planned for 2018 that I'm going to be doing tons of this type of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've always wanted to do stone work and you can't put a shovel in the ground here like stones everywhere. These little ones as well as these kind of boulders and all the way up to massive boulders and bedrock. So entire ground is that and then a little bit of soil on top so i'll have no problem collecting enough stones but first project i think is going to be like in the spring as soon as the ground thaws it's going to be a, a kitchen an outdoor kitchen somewhere in this area here um so it's stone full stone uh, walls probably and top like countertop and then a grill uh fashioned into that so like a barbecue type thing and then um uh, a pizza oven out of clay so I'll have to put a roof on it it's part of why I've been collecting all the clay so that's the first stone project and a root cellar um, smokehouse and things like that foundation probably for a woodshed so all tons of stonework so that's uh, really gonna be cool so this is hard on my wrist right now because I'm not used to doing this type of work but I'll get used to it pretty quickly I'm sure. So this is, I have one more day of warm weather after today. And then like it's December 3rd today or 4th. So that'll be it. I won't 
You might, might get the odd day over freezing, but at night it's going to be freezing for sure. And it'll be so much snow on the ground that it's still going to be cold. So what I'm doing here, I can't get this outside wall done before that happens. So I'm going to have to leave it like this for the winter. I'll chink just the inside with clay. But out here, what I want to do is make sure I get done today is all the way around the cabin, at least the top, or at least the bottom two layers. I want to have chinked with a hard material like this clay mortar mixture so that I can keep the, the uh, mice out. Mice out that go, would go directly under the floor. If they get up through here, at least they'll be on top of the floor. And I'll have to seal the floor well so they can't get in underneath. So here we are mid-October again, this is 2020, that was 2018, 2017 you were watching that footage from. And that was the, you know, chinking that I was rushing to get done, that I needed to get done before weather, the weather turned. This is October, third week of October, I'm not sure exact date, after the 20th I think. And the we haven't had any snow yet, and there's none in the forecast, so hopefully we get away, you know, get all the way through October without winter hitting. Um, but you can see the urgency at that time of year. I'm in much better shape this year. I've got enough firewood for the winter. I have the cabins nice and secure, and I'm now working on the workshop, in which um, I'm far enough along on that now that I don't need to worry about winter hitting. So uh, the re different recipes, yeah, I explained quite a bit about that. Um, I am going to do things a little bit differently in the next cabin uh, I, that was the least enjoyable part to be honest of the entire cabin and homestead build was the chinking of these buildings this took forever um, you're looking at you know 10 feet across 20 feet long and inside and out and then the upper gables so that's a lot of surface area to, to uh, fill in with moss and clay and, and mortar so a lot of work something i'd like to eliminate in the next cabin or reduce in the next cabin um, and you'll see how I'm going to do that uh, coming up sometime in 2021. So speaking of the rushing the weather, um, in, in the next video in this series, you'll see how I had a, some snow come and then I had a temporary melt and I was able to focus on an issue that I had in the front of the cabin with mud and a, a lack of a proper entrance, a clean entrance way. So I had this little window of opportunity of maybe three days to get a temporary deck put down uh, before the snow came back and then sure enough it did. So th that um, temporary porch out there, the temporary deck in the front here is uh, still temporary after three years. So I do hope to eventually uh, replace that, but I'm gonna talk about that more in a future video because uh, it was one of the issues with the design or lack of design, just the organic construction of this cabin that I would change. And that was, I would have preferred to get that. Well, I'll talk about it in the next video. So if you want to watch that one, you can click on the video on the left hand side of your screen. And if you want to watch the entire series of me building this cheap um, natural materials log cabin, you can click on the playlist here in the top left hand side of your screen. And if you want to subscribe so you don't miss any of these, then please click on the icon my logo down in the bottom right hand side of your screen so thanks for watching appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time take care